Hi, I'm Travis, and in this video, we'll discuss how to get started with video editing using a program that's both free and easy to use called DaVinci Resolve. The first step will be to download and install DaVinci Resolve. It's easy to find on the Blackmagic Design website. It can be downloaded here. I'll be showing you DaVinci Resolve 16, the last stable release, and I'll be using a PC. Once DaVinci Resolve is installed on your computer, then you'll uh, open the program and open a new untitled project. One of the first things I recommend doing is immediately saving the project and then save as often as possible. I use Control S since I'm using a PC. Uh, you can have, use the equivalent command on a Mac as well. Um, and then one of the most important things to know about navigating through DaVinci Resolve is that we have these really important tabs at the bottom. And I spend almost all my time in the Edit tab. And here we will load our media and we can also then see it on the timeline below. And we'll talk about that in a little bit more detail in just a minute. At the very end, once we have something that we're happy with, we can go to this Deliver tab. And this is where we will take all these different clips and, and different media things that we've assembled and export them as a final output video. So one of the first things that we need to do is to import our media. And we can take many different kinds of media, such as videos or images or uh, audio files as well. And so we'll go to File, Import File, Import Media. And then we can go, for example, here, to marker assisted selection in this case for this example and now I've imported all these different types of files and we can start loading them into our timeline next for example I have this uh, clip of grinding tissue samples and now you can see that I've dragged it from here down into my timeline, and I can watch what that looks like by hitting this play button. And we'll see the red bar showing us where, where we're watching in this clip. On the top, we have a video file that's images, and then on the bottom, you can see we have this audio track as well. And we can manipulate each of those independently or together. And so what we can do is we can select, you can see here, this is just selecting one, but what we can do is then hit control and select the other one and link them together. Um, so now, for example, if I want to trim, then I can do that to both at the same time. Trimming a clip is something that's really important to know how to do. It's one of the simplest and most useful functions that we can use in this program. And so we can, for example, zoom in on our timeline here and then move this red bar to an area that we want. So for example, if we only want to show from the time that liquid nitrogen is added, we can go to here and then we can trim both of these together at the same time. And now we just have part of this clip. If we have these unlinked, then we can uh, just, sorry, let me try that again. We have to select them both and click this unlink. And now if I select just one of them, then I can edit just the video or just the audio independently, but only if those are unlinked. So trimming is one of the simplest things we can do but we can not just trim from the sides, we can also trim out of the middle. And there are several ways to do that. One of the ways that I use the most is to use the razor blade here, and we can cut a section there. Notice that because these are unlinked, I would have to cut the audio and video independently here. And if we don't want these, this middle section, then we can go back to our select tool and select these. I'm going to hit control so I can select both of them simultaneously. 
and then I can hit backspace to remove just that section without closing the gap. Uh, or I can hit delete and it will close the gap. So I'm going to hit control Z to undo that. Uh, control Z is super useful uh, just to undo. If you ever make a mistake and you want to go back, just hit control Z. Um, and so if I, that was, that was backspace. Now I'm going to try this again with delete and you'll see that it'll close the gap there. Um, so both backspace and delete can be useful. Um, so it just depends on what exactly you're trying to do and delete will modify things around it. Backspace just removes the section that you're um, trying to remove. Next, we'll talk about how to join multiple clips. So say we're happy with this, we can select everything. And for example, I'll put this at the beginning. And now we can start taking clips that were taken maybe on a different day or at a different time, a different location and start putting them together. And this is one of the most important things that we can do uh, with DaVinci Resolve's DaVinci Resolve. So here I'm including now a new clip about pipetting. I can include a clip from the greenhouse showing uh, some plants. And now if we go here, I'll zoom in on the timeline just to focus on this particular transition. And we can watch and these will now play back to back. So we could just put all of our clips right back to back and immediately export. That's one of the simplest and again, most powerful things that we can do in DaVinci Resolve. Um, so, so we could be done right here if we want to be, but we can also polish it a little bit more and we'll, I'll show you how you can uh, do that a little bit. So one thing that you can do is you can add a transition. Um, so I'm gonna click that intermediate area and then click this intermediate area here. I'm oh, sorry, I'm, I need to hit control there. Um, so I'm, I've had those selected at the same time. And now I can right click that and add a dissolve and that'll be a transition point. Here it's asking me, do you want to trim the clips? Meaning that they are gonna have to, to have a dissolve, a fade from one to the other, then they need to be kind of overlapping a little bit. Are you okay with moving them? Yes, I'll, I'm okay with trimming those. Um, so now you can see that shifted over. And now if we go to the middle of that, what we'll see, it needs a second to load sometimes. Oh, you can see that we have this, um, this intermediate as it fades through that. So we can hit play have that intermediate um, step there where it's showing both images at the same time. That's one way to do a fade. We'll talk about another way soon. So in this case, I also have some other types of, of video. And for example, I have some slides as well. And those are something that I can start layering. So in this section, we'll talk about layering. As I mentioned earlier, you can use different types of media. You can use video, you can use images, you can use audio, and often you'll have several of these at the same time. And whatever shows up on top in your timeline is what you're going to see. So here I can move these all up, and now they're in this video track two, and I can move the slides underneath them. And I can start moving around uh, these so that they'll be overlapping uh, where I want them. So now, for example, if we zoom in here, we'll see that there it'll start off with slides. And then once the, the bar here, the red bar uh, goes into this section, we'll start seeing some liquid nitrogen being poured. Excellent. So one other way that we can do a transition or a fade is by pulling this little white tab over. You can see the amount of time that that transition would take. So we can play this back again and now it should fade smoothly between those. Nice. That's the second way to do a fade. We can gradually transition 
between those that way and because that grinding clip was on top that's the one that we're going to see we can also then not not just have the second clip covering the whole screen but have it just as a part of the screen as well and we can do other um, edits such as cropping or zooming um, as well and we can do that using this inspector tool so first i'm going to want to select the clip that i want to modify and then i'll click inspector here i can click this uh, and now we can start modifying it so if i want this to not take up the whole screen but maybe just take up a part of the screen then i can do that here So maybe I want this clip to be cropped, and I can do that by double clicking here on cropping, and then I can adjust it here. And as I change this, you'll see that that, that side is coming in. And then same here, I can change that. And I can use the box here to make sure that it's being trimmed symmetrically. Same with top and bottom. You can see there's some other tools here. Um, feel free to mess around with these. These are really all very useful um, and uh, very good things to know about. Uh, but we're not going to go into a lot of detail with them now. But the uh, inspector tool is a very useful thing for a lot of more advanced processes. We can also bring in audio files. You can see I can just drop that in. And this audio file doesn't have any video associated with it. It's just this audio track. And we can edit this in a way that's pretty similar to what we have done with our video files. So we can trim, for example, if we decided later that we wanted that section, we can always bring it back, same with video. And we can have a fade in, for example, and then you'll hear that this music comes in a little bit more slowly, it fades in. Uh, and then if we wanna change the overall volume, then we can do that uh, simply by pulling up and down here. I mean, if it's a negative number, it's gonna make it more quiet. If it's a positive number, it's gonna make it louder. One other tool that I think is really useful, it's not in DaVinci Resolve, but it's really useful for video editing is uh, this screen recording function from PowerPoint. And it allows you to capture anything that's going on on your desktop. And that can include PowerPoint slides and other things. And so you can find that in this insert tab and then go to screen recording. And again, it's just something that I use quite often uh, that allows you to present other kinds of media that wouldn't necessarily be as easy to capture using a phone or tablet or something like that. One last thing I wanted to cover is changing the clip speed. And this is something that I find really useful. And so you can right click and there are tons of options. This is just one thing that I do quite often, uh, but we can go here and change the clip speed. And if we want it to play back, Faster, we can increase this to maybe 200, or we can have it playback slower and have it below 100% playback. Um, and we can also choose whether or not we want the audio file associated with that to change uh, pitch as well uh, using this. So we can make those changes. That's gonna make it playback faster. And we can go back and watch this now. There's a little bit of lag. Let's try that again. You can see that that's going faster than real life. So we're happy with the final version here. Then, and we've watched the whole thing beginning to end and we like it. Then we can go to this final deliver tab and we can choose the out output format. And so I usually use YouTube, which is a QuickTime format. And we can add this to our render queue saying this is something that we want to create. Uh, and then name it and now it's here and we can hit start render usually the rendering just takes a few minutes and we'll have something that's a single video that combines all of the media that you want to um, have in your final output davinci resolve has been a really useful tool for me and i hope that it's useful for you as well thanks see you next time